Hi, I'm Katrina Zisch with InStyle Magazine for Houdini.com. I'm going to show you how to get an easy makeup look in less than five minutes using products only from your local drugstore. Step one, concealer. It is your best friend. So choose a shade slightly lighter than your skin tone. Add a few dots under your eyes where most of us definitely need it. You don't want to overdo it here because you don't want makeup to look caked on. And then very gently with your finger, just tap that into place. Now once you're satisfied with that, you can always go back and touch up later. You want to look for any discoloration on your skin. So right here I have a little bit of redness on my chin. Again, using little light dots and just your finger to blend it in. Another great area is right around your nose. People forget this. Covering that up just adds to a smooth, flawless look. The next step is foundation. You apply a little bit to the sponge applicator and just dot on over your entire face and lightly blend. And as you can see, it's already lightening and brightening and smoothing my skin. Now don't forget the forehead, especially under your hair. You might want to wear a headband sometimes when you're doing this to make sure you get your entire face. Check the sides here to make sure that your jawline is blended. When you go to the drugstore to find the perfect foundation color, make sure it matches the inside of your wrist. The next step is the all-important eyes. So get a brow pencil that is the same color or just a little bit lighter than your natural hair color. And then using soft motions, just like you're drawing with a little crayon, just fill in any blanks. A lot of people's eyebrows tend to thin out once they get to the outer area, and that's what you want to pay attention to. Don't make them too thick, just fill them in. It's just like coloring. Now, to make that stay in place, there's a little applicator brush that has a little bit of a gel in it that makes sure that your eyebrows stay put. So brush up slightly, just along your eyebrows. Again, you shouldn't feel anything. Doesn't even look like much, but it will keep those eyebrows in place. Next up, a little bit of eyeliner. It should be a pencil, not liquid. You want to keep this as minimal as possible. Starting on the out, outside corner of your eye, very, very gentle strokes. Just draw a line following your lash line. Same thing, other side. Again, gentle little strokes. Next, this is going to be one of your best tools ever, the eyelash curler. Now make sure you use an eyelash curler before the mascara or else it can damage your eyelashes. So just look straight into the mirror, very gently squeeze down, hold it down for about five seconds, release, and there you go. And of course mascara comes next and very gently start at your lower lash, right close to your eye, and wiggle and go up. By doing that little wiggle at the base of your lash, you're coating those lashes a little bit more and just framing your eyes even further. Now it's time for the blush because everybody needs a rosy glow. It's best to go with a cream blush because it looks more natural. Smile a little bit. When the apples of your cheeks, where you see that smile, that's where you apply and a little bit of a circular motion. There you go. And finally, lipstick, or in this case, lip gloss. You start by putting on the color of your choice. Less is more, follow the simple, natural line of your lips. Don't try to go outside of them because everybody knows that those aren't really your lips. So you should have a barely there coating of your lip color. And then you wait for about 10 to 15 seconds, and on the other side of this lipstick, it has a clear gloss. And you just add that right on top of the color. Blend your lips together. The final step is powder. A Little bit on my nose, a little bit across my forehead, on my chin. And voila, perfect, flawless makeup in less than five minutes.